Well, imagine graduating from high school and being ready for a high paying career in aviation. Yeah. A new program of emphasis at Seminole High School is preparing students for these in-demand jobs. News 6 anchor Julie Broughton tells us how the school's aviation program works in tonight's Getting Results in Our Schools. Getting Results in Our Schools, sponsored by Crayola Experience. This plane is a Cessna 150. Um, the joke we always have in the class is that it's actually older than our um, instructor. <laughs> this 60-year-old plane serves as inspiration for Seminole High School aviation students like freshmen Florence and Yuki. And it's really good to have like a, a live plane in the campus that we can look at and really understand that this is like this is the goal for us. Year one of this four-year program puts students on track to earn their private pilot's license. B-25 Mitchell Bomber. Mr. Schmidt, BF-109, also from World War II. But first... And this is what they're getting right now by, by refurbishing these uh, model airplanes. They're actually seeing how, how the, the wings are structured and what it takes to, to just develop lift, you know, in the uh, aircraft design. And it's, it's a very simple design. Instructor Norman Johnson started his aviation career in the Marines after telling his mother he wanted to fly planes. So my mom said to me, said... With our income, and what I make, the only way you're going to be able to get even close to aircraft is to join the military. This program, he says, gives kids a head start in an industry where there is a huge demand for all positions. There's so many things that you can do besides just a pilot or a mechanic. And so the kids, don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. And we make little rivets, but not enough to cut through the entire firm board, and that's how we build the body. Johnson says there's also a shortage of female pilots and mechanics, something that drew Anyuki into the program. I think it's a well-known fact that women can do anything that a man can do, and so it's really important that we have women out here um, making the change and causing a change that needs to happen. Julie Broughton, News 6. So the program's instructor meets quarterly with business partners from the Orlando Sanford International Airport to discuss the best ways to prepare those students for those high demand aviation careers. What a great idea. It really is a fantastic idea. Yeah. Okay, so play along with